Hey, what's up guys? Professor here, and today we're back with another FL Studio tutorial. Thanks for dropping by. If you enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Let's go to this scene here. So this question comes from a subscriber, Isaiah is real. He asks, bro, could you make a video on how to use MIDI files and audio clips from sample packs, cymatics? for example, and how to use and set them up for a beat. I'm currently having that issue. I'm new to FL Studio. I looked online. I don't see a lot of people breaking that part down in detail how it works. I said, of course I will. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to first uh, handle the MIDI area and then I'll teach you guys how to throw in some samples. That's the easier part actually is just throwing in samples and putting them in the sampler. Um, let's begin with the MIDI since that's kind of what I have planned here. So I've got a beat set up and um, but of course it needs a melody. So basically what you're going to want to do first is make sure you have some type of sound generator. It could be FL keys. It can be flex. I'm just going to go with FL keys. All right. Make sure you have a, a clean pattern to work with right click and hit that piano roll option. It's gonna bring it up here. Now, you need to know where you have your MIDI set up. And for me, I have mine set up in my samples, cymatics, cymatics, we're gonna use the 2020 MIDI collection. You might be able to drag them in like this, um, but I'm gonna show you how I normally do it because you'll have more options this way. I go to file, I go to import MIDI file. Then I go to my, um, where my MIDIs are. So I'm going to go to my cymatics. We'll go to Crimson Hip Hop MIDI Collection, Melody MIDI, and oops. Let's grab, I don't know, any one of these. You just click it and open it. Now this MIDI is imported into here. Find a sound that sounds uh, reasonable for that. All right, cool. So now we'll take that pattern, of course, that we made and make sure it's selected, paste it right in here. That's how you import a MIDI file. Let's do another way. Boom, number two. Check this out. So you probably can also do it this way by just loading up where your MIDIs are at in browser or in File Explorer and then going to where they are. I'll go to my Cymatics uh, folder. Uh, Hip Hop MIDI Collection. Let's grab another one. Let's just grab one and see if we can pull it in like that. Bring that to the front. Let's see if this works. Yep, sure looks like that works too. So if you have your uh, MIDI in your folders ready on File Explorer, you can just drag them in. Make sure you're dragging them into the proper sound uh, generators that you want. Ooh, I like that. You want to hear how we're going to make this fire in one second? Check this out. Boom. Boom. Make unique. Boom. Copy value. Boom. Paste value.
Okay, so that's one way to use your MIDIs, guys, is to just drag them into your sound generator piano roll. Make sure you're bringing that piano roll up. And then, of course, make sure you have that pattern selected. That's going to be important when you want to place it in here. Um, there's other ways. Uh, first, actually, let's talk about some samples now. So I'm going to just drag in a... Let's go to all, and let's make a new... Uh, sorted area here. Let's rename this filter group as percussion. All right. So percussion, we don't really need that in there, but that's okay. Basically, there's a few ways to drag in your samples. Let's go find some drum samples. They're the easiest things for us to work with. What does the drip sample pack have? Loops, one shots. That's what we need. I mean, of course, you could just drag your drum loops in here too. Full drum loops. Boom, now I got a full drum loop in here to work with. Um, but if you want to get more creative, you'll go to your one shots. Uh, we'll get something in for each for each sound. Let's grab a kick. Boom, see, kick, then uh, one thing I like actually about doing it this way though, instead of this, is if you actually go to open and you bring up a sampler, where's sampler? Here it is. Sampler, and you click this and go to this file and to browse and open. This is actually gonna place a sound sample in here. So now I'll go to my sample folder. Let's add a clap. If you have it with sampler loaded up like this and you're doing it through sampler, you can audition the sound before you load it in. Now it's here. Um, there's a few other ways. Now, if you actually have some, your packs down here. Now, not every, uh, there's obviously FL Studio packs here, but if you wanna go to your Cymatics one, you're going to need to add that directory into FL Studio. Uh, now, I have a sample, I have a video uh, right here that you should check out if you want to manually add specific folders that you've created for samples, and that's what I did. So once you have that set up, check out that video. I can just go to here, work audio, samples, drag it over a little bit, go to my drip, of course. Somatics, drip sample pack, we'll add a symbol. And that's another nice way because you can say, audition it within FL Studio before you drag it over here. See? Boom. Now, you can also add uh, samples like this too directly into your playlist so that they can be used. This is great for adding like crashes and transitions. You'll see like, check it out, check it out. Um, boom, let's do this. And then that, that, now check this out. Oh, we already have that here. Boom, let's add a nice, um, a nice ride. Let's see, there's a few other ways to work with samples. Um, say you have FL Studio closed and you have previous, oh, I should have saved that, whatever. Um, say you have FL Studio closed and you just wanna open up like a brand new composition that someone sent you. Uh, I'll use, you could just actually drag that over on top of the FL Studio icon. 
and then let it come out by hovering over and click that thing and then unpin it because you probably didn't want to do that but oh it's going to ask you what you want to import i usually just click all tracks you can tell it whether to use an mp out or lsd lsd is a low processing sound generator or a low cpu processing flex you know what flex is midi out is in case you have like some other sound generators that are routed through MIDI imports, like one, two, three, four, things like that. Uh, I'll click accept on here. I'm gonna let it load up because it's gonna try and load flex here. Now you'll see that I have uh, some different patterns or this one pattern made up of two different sound generators. Now that's how you, does like big full on composition MIDI files. But the big thing is actually just gonna be using that piano roll um, and the sampler. You obviously seen how you just drag that in with File Explorer or using sampler or write in FL Studio because you can audition those sounds, which is fairly useful. Let me close this, we'll return back to that webcam. Um, guys, I hope you found this information useful. Remember, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button so you can check out more content as it comes out and check out the playlist that I'm gonna have dropping up at the end because I have a whole series set up on FL Studio. If you're super new to FL Studio, check out my Skillshare class down in the description because you can get two months for free on Skillshare and check out my intro course, which is rated five stars uh, to get yourself and get your feet wet uh, the basics in the beginning of FL Studio. Um, if you have any comments, questions, requests, leave them below. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. And I go check out your channels all the time. Leave the video a like, subscribe, like I already said. And I love you guys so much. Keep grinding, and I'll catch you on the next one, all right? Peace. Whew.